Hello, I'm Brian Jorgensen with Jorgensen Machine Tools. Today we're going to go over a Cross model RAS 3713. It's a 12 foot half inch shear. It's a guillotine, um, which means you have adjustable rake angle. Uh, we're going to go over some of the features this machine has. It does have some op optional equipment the customer ordered. Let's go ahead and take a look at this machine and its features. Okay, we're going to go over the control. Uh, we got a power disconnect. You can see, lights off. Turn it back on. We can see that we have a light to indicate the power to the machine. Um, to start the machine, we just push the start button. You can hear the hydraulic pump kick on. Uh, one of the options the customer got with this machine is power gap adjustment. I like this feature very much. Makes it simple for the operator to adjust the gap for material he's cutting. Some shops, if it's hard to adjust your gap, they just don't do it. Wears out your blades, may damage your machine if you're not doing it like you should. Um, very simple to adjust. We have a chart right here that um, shows us the um, thickness and what we should set our um, gap adjustment to our decimal. I'm going to cut quarter inch. I'm going to go ahead and put it to 60. We can bump it and we, we got it to 60. Um, next uh, here is we have the NC control, which I highly recommend. It's an option, but it's a touch and go control. We can actually create programs in this controller also, where we can batch cut. We can cut one, then we can cut two inches, then the five inches. So all different kinds of cuts we can get out of one piece of flat material. Um, simply, we just go ahead and tap here. We put four. So we just go ahead and start. Now we're going to go to four inches. Very simple. The ball screw back gauge very accurate. Um, next, if you want to create a program, we got program three. That means we have two other programs in here currently. So now I'm going to go ahead and push. Now we got this blinking. Now I can go ahead and enter what dimension I want to cut or um, length. So I'm going to put in three for my first cut. Enter. This is how many times do I want to um, repeat this three inch cut? I'm only going to do it once. So enter. Now we're on cycle two. Let's, uh, let's do a five inch cut. Enter. Uh, let's do that once also. We're on step three. Let's go to a seven inch cut. Just so you can watch this machine move a little bit. Uh, and enter. And now that's all I want to put in here. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out. So now to pull that back up, I go to my program. So that was program three. Enter. And now we go ahead and there, and now we've got that program started. And I'm just going to run this real quick just so you can kind of watch it as it goes through its function. Okay, now it's blinking. Now we know we're done with that program. So click it. I mean, just go, if we wanted to restart it, it would start it over again for us. Um, we got an e-stop. Right here we can shut our machine off if there's emergency or just to shut our machine down. Uh, we got auto and manual. What the difference is, is manual. I got buttons here. Typically this is gonna be used if I want to uh, um, if I need new blades or I'm going to take and resharpen my blades and reinstall them, I want to come down to certain lengths to check our, my accuracy if I have to shim or anything like that for my shear. Uh, that's pulpers for that. So. And now right here we got our rake angle adjustment. 
and then where this is a guillotine shear, we actually have the ability to adjust our rake angle where you can make it flatter or more steep of a rake angle. Why we want more of a steep rake angle is for our thicker materials. Our thinner materials we want flat as possible so we don't have a, a twist in our material or what you call a, a pigtail where it curls it. So just, you know, a huge benefit. We can cut a material that keeps it flat. We just have less work to do down the road when we're making our parts. So we can set that. And you can tell what angle I'm at by the lights right here. As you can see, with my hands on the road, you can actually see the lights that are on to tell you what angle you're at. So if I cycle it, you'll see that that light went off now, it just went to the one degree, so. And we can also adjust the back gauge manually from here. As you can see, it's still showing on our DRO up here where we're at though. So very simple. And some people like that where they can just come up and adjust it very simply to what they want without having to type anything. People like that. Especially when you have gloves, sometimes it's nice to have the bigger buttons. And this machine also comes with the optional um, sheet support system, which is very nice to have, especially for thinner gauges, because what happens if we don't have that support, our sheet calls through, then it droops down. And then in, um, obviously we're not able to use our back gauge effectively to cut our parts accurate. So a very nice feature to have. We just turn that on. It's air activated, so that lifts it, lifts it up when we come down. It'll actually drop that down so our sheet just rolls off onto our pallet. And you can hear that kick off, letting the air bleed out. Plead the cut come back up for you so you can just keep keep working pushing material into the shear. I'm going to go ahead and cut a piece of quarter inch material. Just want to point out this customer ordered the optional solid table. It's got the rollers on it. Very nice. You can see how easy it is to roll this material around on this table. Um, I also point out that this has inlay tapes. It also we got a front flip stop. It's nice if you want to use these a front gauge, but also we can also do a um, angled cut we using those. So a very cool feature to have on them, on the shears that cross um, comes with standard. Now we're going back to two inch. We just did a one inch cut. And there we go.